Hi guys, it's Shell with Little Acres Creations. And today we are going to make some some bows out of ribbon, just those really fluffy bows. I had a request for them. This is such a fun way to just decorate your packages, just get a huge thing of <laughs> ribbon and just to decorate your packages and stuff. So I just wanted to kind of go over what I suggest. I used to be a florist for about a year and during that time I learned a few things about ribbon making. Now the ribbon that I prefer to use is a wire edged and then same on both sides. This one is not but I want to show you how to use one that's different on the inside than the outside just so that you can so that you can have an idea of how to how to do that one also. And then here's another one. Now this one has the thicker um, wire on the outside. So and when you put it in position it'll stay that way. Now if you have problems with making your bows you might want to you know find something that has wire so it's going to keep its shape when it's formed. This one says it has wire edged also but it doesn't really keep its shape near as much as the other one does. Okay, so now let me find one that is the same on both sides. Okay, so here's one where it's the same on both sides and are pretty close. And I really like these because you don't have to twist and turn and sometimes your hands cramp up depending on how big of a bow that you want to make. So let me just show you what we're going to do. We're going to do work with this one first, just so you have an idea of how to do the one that um, is double sided and it also has the, um, the wire edge. So this is a perfect ribbon. That's what I would suggest. You can definitely do it with the other ribbon, but you know, kind of practice and see what you can do. Now I prefer to use a floral wire. And I just cut these in half, so about six inches each. And then I go ahead and kind of prep it. So then I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of put it in a U. And the reason I do that is my hands are going to be full in a few minutes. And I kind of like to have it ready. <laughs> okay. So you don't want to cut it yet. You want to continue to leave it attached to your roll. And we're just going to get started. This one again is the same on both sides. And the first thing you're going to do is just go ahead and kind of put it together and pinch it on the end. And this is going to be the center of your bow and you just want to make sure that you grab that underneath like that and go ahead and pinch it. And you'll see why I sometimes I just put my ribbon like in front of me on the floor. <laughs> That way it's easier, and if it twists, it's easier to untwist, especially if you're by yourself, it's kind of hard. Okay, so now you just, you're just you going to kind of wrap it around your fingers. So I wrap it around my ring finger, and then kind of twist it, and then I twist, wrap it around. I kind of try to make sure this one's the same as this one, and just pinch it. And you're just going to do that over and over, getting a little larger each time. And I try to do four or five on each side. And that'll make a really fluffy bow. So like the next one, you're going to do about an inch longer. Go ahead and pinch it. Same on the other side. Now you can kind of bring it out to the side a little bit if you want to. Kind of go ahead and pinch it. Just make sure it's kind of longer than the one before. Pinch it in the center and do the same on the other side. I'm sure there's other ways to do this. This is just, you know, just my way. And it kind of takes some getting used to, especially with your fingers. Because if you're making a big bow, then sometimes they really start cramping up. So just take your time. Practice. You know, this is probably my thousandth bow in my lifetime <laughs> you know the okay and you, like I said you just want to keep going a little bit larger each time let's do five just because we can <laughs> okay I'll do one more 
this side. Okay, now I want a little strand on this one. Say I'm going to put this on a wreath. So go ahead and take your length, and you want to leave it long. <coughs> See, you're going to leave it pretty long. However long you kind of want your strands, leave a little bit of room to cut it off and kind of trim it. And then just come back with your other one, and you're going to pinch that behind. Let me show you what behind looks like. Okay, and then we're going to trim this piece just right here so it's attached into our um, into our hand like that. Okay, now you're going to take wire and you're just going to stick that inside. It's going to be on the thumb all the way around. You're going to make sure that everything's in there really well. I should have told you, you're going to need a pair of wire pliers pliers for this. I'm just using these kind of square nose pliers. You want to pull it really tight and then just twist. And the floral wire helps let you get it really, really tight. Uh, you could use a chenille stem or a um, pipe cleaner right here, but let me show you. When you go to kind of pull, sometimes you just can't get it as tight or you know, you can't really mess with it as much. Does that make sense? Like you'll be pulling on it and then you'll pull, maybe pull the, um, you'll maybe pull the ribbon out. So you just kind of want to, this way I feel like it's more secure and I can kind of just mess around with it. Kind of get it to where I want it to be. I'm going to fold my ribbons down or my wires down. So I kind of do top, bottom, top, let's put this one on the bottom, just kind of make it look however you want it to look. I've been making these since about 1990, <laughs> okay I'm old, what can I say? <laughs> So you just kind of see how you can kind of just get in there and you can just tug away, just tighten it up really well. And you can pick up the floral wire at Walmart, 12 inch long pieces, and then just cut it in half. Okay, that looks pretty good. Again, if you wanted it bigger than this or fuller than this, then, you know, continue making your loops. You want it smaller, then just go smaller. See how it kind of keeps its shape. That's what I like about the wire wrap one. And I use all different kinds. I use the one that doesn't have wire wrap. You know, it just takes practice. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and come down here and just trim it. And then like here, say I just want it this long. I'm just going to trim it a little bit. On this side, and you know I like the dovetails. <laughs> and one on this side. And what do you think? I think it turned out pretty cute. Kind of just fiddle with it until you're happy with it. You can pop it on a package. And if you wanted to, you didn't even have to keep the little tails. I just decided to do it with the tails. But the next one I'll show you and I'm not, I won't do the tails. Okay, so next one we're going to do it the other ribbon that's different on one side than the other. So this is the top and then this is the bottom. It's pretty much the same um, the same concept. You're just going to have to do just a little bit of fiddling with it. And I'm going to go ahead and get my wire ready. So for this you really need a pair of scissors, a pair of wire cutters, and a pair of um, pliers that you can use to tighten your ribbon or your wire. And also when you're tightening it, you can tighten this wire pretty hard without it snapping or breaking. But if you're using a chenille stem and you go in there and tighten it really, really tight, it will stamp on you. So that's why I like to use these and you know, that's what I'm used to. <coughs> okay, so let's work with this one. So the shiny side is the bottom and kind of dull side, shiny, the duller side is the top. Okay, so you want to start again with your pinching, and you're going to make the center of your bow, 
and then just pinch. Okay, if we kept going like we did while ago, you're going to have a bottom side up, so you're going to twist it. And that's really all the only thing you're going to do different. Go ahead and get started, but every single time you're going to have to twist. And it's still a beautiful bow, but sometimes this one makes my fingers <laughs> cramp more than the other one did. Because you have to twist, you have to think, you have to... <laughs> Just a, a little bit harder, you know, the, you just kind of want to twist it. You want to get a good twist or else, like if I kind of twisted like that, when I'm done with the final project, I'm not going to be as happy with it. So you want to make sure you have a really good twist. Again, this is going to take some time, you know, go to um, the Dollar Tree, maybe pick up some, some uh, ribbon, try it again and again. You can cut the wire and start over. You know if you need to let's just do this one with six now see you have to hold it tighter because you don't want the twist coming out so I can feel that my hands cramping up just a little bit a little bit more than you know what it normally would be okay and I'm just going to let's see one two three let me do one more I know I was gonna stop <laughs> So this one, I'm not going to put tails on. I'm just going to use this for a package. Let's just pretend for that. I'm going to go ahead, put your wire through, pinch it, the wire, with your thumb, twist it around, and then just really tighten your wire. Now when you go to the Walmart or wherever you go, kind of get a thicker, you know, wire. It's just better. Then that's going to hold everything in, t in place. Now when I pull on this wire, I don't know if you can see it, but there is absolutely no room. So there's nothing there. So you want to pull and tighten at the same time. Your um, ribbon should not, um, you should not be able to pull it. Sometimes if you don't get it tight enough and I pull on this one, say, then it will make this one shorter. And that really gets to be a pain. <laughs> so I just like to have it really really tight and then I can decorate it move it about however I want and be happy with what I have this one I'm gonna go ahead and snip off you can do this on the other one also and just kinda fold that over and if I was going to put this on a package, I would just put like maybe a piece of foam tape or some double stick uh, tape. But I think foam tape would work really well. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's a little bit distorted. <laughs> Let me fix it. There we go. This is the center. The center is a little bit larger than what I normally would have liked, but I'll just make it work. Kind of push it down a little. And then just fluff it up. This one also has a little bit of the wire edging, so it kind of works pretty well. So you just want to keep fiddling with it until you get it to exactly where you want it to be and stick it on your package or your candle or you know whatever you'd like your drapes any you know so that is how simple it is or not <laughs> to do a bow so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i think it's really fun and if you have tons of ribbon like i do then i think you'll really you know this will be a fun way for you to use it up and you can do it with smaller ribbon or larger ribbon this is about two inch ribbon, but in this one, I guess they're both. This is about an inch and three quarters, and this is right at two inches. And that's what I like to, to work with. I have worked with the really wide stuff that's like three inches, but you know, it depends on what you're using it for. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, be sure and leave them in the box below. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a great day.